The deliverance of the children of Israel from ancient Egypt is one of the most fascinating stories in the Bible. In Exodus chapter 5, we read about the first encounter with Pharaoh. Moses goes unto Pharaoh and says to him, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. Pharaoh's response is surprising. Who is the Lord God of Israel that I should obey his voice, he says. I know not the Lord. Is Pharaoh being arrogant or is he really just confused? We know today that the ancient Egyptians worshipped over 2,000 different gods. So perhaps Pharaoh's confusion is understandable. But as the story unfolds and each plague hits the nation of Egypt, they soon become acquainted with the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, more great and powerful than any God of Egypt. The first plague was inflicted upon the Nile River, turning it to blood for seven days. The Egyptians worshipped the Nile as a god, thinking that in its annual flood waters it brought fertility to their land. So as each plague comes and goes, the God of Israel exposes the gods of Egypt to be defenseless and weak. In the closing act, the final plagues are waged against the most powerful gods of Egypt, the sun god Ra and Pharaoh himself. As darkness falls upon Egypt, the Lord God reveals himself to have all-encompassing power even over the sun. This would have had profound religious and psychological effects on the Egyptians. Lastly, Pharaoh, the greatest god of Egypt, the son of Ra himself, could not protect his household from the final plague, the death of the firstborn. After 400 years of silence, while his people were enslaved in Egypt, God is now revealing himself in a very powerful way, not only to his nation Israel, but also to the nation of Egypt. Each year during Passover, the Jewish people sit down to a special meal where they remember each one of the plagues and also the remarkable deliverance from ancient Egypt. Even to this day, we will do well to remember that God has not changed. He is still all-powerful, all-supreme and all-encompassing God and there is no other God like Him.